so I'm gonna make a video about this golf cart that I just got so I've had I don't know 20 plus golf carts and I just honestly I think it would be cool to make a video of me bringing a golf cart back to life and not necessarily restoring it but at the same time restoring it um, to its original state um, so this golf cart I have here which I'll show you in a second had it sat in someone's yard for I don't know however many years so it's pretty trashed it's it's about as bad as it as it gets it doesn't run the charger is broken um, it's it's got four flat tires it barely rolls it's completely molded out the seats are gone um, when I mean gone they're just super moldy they're ripped up tail light lenses are cracked and broken and those are I those are already off the cart so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the cart in a second but I'm gonna explain what I'm doing so I just went to the shop and got a bunch of um, a bunch of new wheels and tires a jack tools and stuff to take the wheels and tires off and whatever and a bunch of cleaning supplies so i'm going to show you how i kind of work the process and i'll just video it as i go along because um i don't know there's more to it than just buying it and selling it and you spend money and make money whatever there's more to it there's a lot more to it so i'm going to show you what the car looks like now there's one spot on the hood on the front of it that I um, that I kind of wiped off a little bit. I didn't really use, I used just soap and water um, and a towel in one spot. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, but yeah, here you go. So yeah, you can obviously tell, I mean this thing this thing is really bad. Here's the spot I was saying that I kind of cleaned off a little bit. Um, that was just with soap and water. Um, there's the seats that are ripped. It's got the batteries in there, which obviously don't work. Like I said, it's got flat tires all the way around pretty much. Um, tail light lenses are gone. Um, so yeah, there it is. It's, it's rough. It's really rough. So how much did I pay? I paid $235 for this and the charger. And I honestly couldn't pass it up because, um, I mean, 235 bucks. I've sold so many golf carts, so I kind of understand the value and everything of them. So I'm gonna run through it and I'll show you my process and what I do and how I essentially restore it to its original state and getting it sold. So I bought it today. I, sh I, I feel like I should have it sold by tomorrow if I jump on it, get everything done, get it cleaned, whatever. So I'm gonna get to it and I'll show you how I do it. I got this pretty rough it's a marine brush um it's kind of a hard bristle i think it's a medium bristle it's falling apart i guess but um that should be pretty good for scrubbing all this algae and whatever else is on this thing so that will work and then i'm got the impact drill and that should be all i need right now And 
go ahead and spray the other side. And then the back one. Put this the impact on there, see if it can whiz these lug nuts off. That's a good sign. All right, so with that one coming off pretty easy, I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the rear of the golf cart, and um, that way, that's just obviously security. You're not gonna take all the lug nuts off without the without the jack. Um, the floor jack underneath it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. All right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right on this little this little um platform there all right she's in the air so now i can go ahead and take the rest of these lug nuts off Just like that, real smooth. And uh, hold on a second here. All right, there it is. Jeez. Ew, that is disgusting. So much stuff gunked up on the the drums there. But hey, I mean. It didn't look too bad. And then all we're going to do here is we'll set these down and we'll put those on the wheels um, when we're all done. Move the lug nuts out of the way. And then, shoot. Let's see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lug nuts, thread them on by hand, always, because you don't wanna cross thread stuff, because I've done that before. I've had to cut the, the threads off the off a golf cart before, the off the studs, because I cross threaded it, and um, the wheel wouldn't come off because I couldn't get one of these little nuts off. Um, so, that's a big issue if you don't thread them on by hand. I'm not saying it always happens if you don't put these on by hand first, but it, it could, there's a very good possibility. So always thread these on a little bit by hand. Alright, and then we're ready to use the impact and tighten that one back up. Now, I can grab one of these hubcaps. I'm going to put that hole through the valve stem there. And, uh, just like that. And then push straight on. Perfect. 
I mean, <laughs> I mean, you tell me. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna finish up the other three. Um, that's definitely the main thing I want to get out of the way tonight. I I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna start cleaning it, but I don't know. It's already getting late, so I'm gonna get the those three, the the rest of the three tires on, and um. Then I'll go ahead and decide if I'm gonna clean it. I might, honestly, I probably should. Might as well get it out of the way. Don't want to say it's already looking better but i mean it, it is already looking better um i mean these tires were just complete junk these ones that were on it so here's what it looks like now um before i let the jack down but i mean obviously the difference is there all right yeah, I mean, that looks 10 times better already. Let's see if the freaking cart rolls. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's so much better. Let's see if the brake works. Yeah, brake works. So, what are these? I guess. These are, I guess, the the original ugly hubcaps. I mean, those ones are much better. Yeah, those are much better. There's no question about it. Wait a second. Why is there five? <laughs> There's five hubcaps. I don't know, man. It doesn't make any sense. What is this? <coughs> Battery condition indicator. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I mean, this thing's toast anyway, but I guess it would tell you what, what like, uh, you know, if the batteries are getting weak or what. Um, so, here's what I'm using to clean it, though. I'll show you guys this right now. So, I'm literally... Just going to use Lysol um, bleach. Um, I think I'm going to start by, I'm going to rip off these curtains. Um, might as well. They're, I mean, look at them. They're, they're, they're no good. They're definitely no good. Um, there's, no, there's no point in even wasting my time or chemicals trying to clean these things. Definitely need at least two of these. 
Here's what the golf cart already looks like. I mean, that looks much better. Seats, they're still moldy. Sometimes they come out brand new, sometimes they don't. This, if I do another coat or two um, of bleach, it should come out better. Let me grab a flashlight. You can see there's a few spots um, like there I got to get. Uh, I mean, it, obviously it could have came out much better, but it was the first one. It was the first little coat of bleach. And um, I mean, just by looking at the front, I mean, t 10 times better. Even the club car logo showed up. I couldn't even see it. I thought it was faded out, but it just had mold all over it and, and algae, whatever else you want to call it. Um, all right, this is day two of the golf cart restoration. So I meant to film a little bit earlier, but I, uh, I just picked up some used tail lights and tail light bezels so I threw those in there um, I took where is it? I took this basket off off the back I'm gonna repaint it with some black paint um, these I didn't really see in the dark so much last night but that'll come off I think it was just some high pressure water and check this out I plugged the charger in which I did not think was going to work at all. That went up. The light, one of the lights turned on. The fan, the fan turns on. Um, and I mean, I don't know. It's kind of coming to life. I, the last thing I thought was that the charger was going to turn on. You can hear it. Um, so... I mean, it's coming together. I'm gonna probably re-clean it today. Armor all it. And check this out. My dad saw this. Look at the speakers in there. Craig, whoever Craig is, I don't know Craig. I don't know where the head unit is though. That's one thing. The horn's not working, but I don't know, whatever. I mean, it's come back to life a little bit. I'll probably put water in the batteries and maybe, just maybe, it will move. Not sure though, <laughs> probably not. So I'm gonna go ahead, get some of the other stuff out of the way, and I'm gonna start by cleaning the, or not cleaning the basket, I'm gonna repaint it with, what is this? Semi-gloss black. So, I'm gonna do that now. Probably five plus hours of me going to pick it up, going to get the tires, going to get tail lights and stuff, and painting things and whatever else, all the cleaning. Probably five plus hours of work went into this project. Um, but here I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. Now the armor all didn't quite stay on the the 
the clear coat as I thought it would, but I guess there is no clear coat, so it's not staying long enough. But here, here's what it looks like now. So, as you can tell, it's much better. Much, much better. I even, like I showed earlier, fan is picking. Um, let's see the headlights. Let's see if the headlights got any better. All right, that one's almost on full power. That one's on barely, but eh, I mean they do work. So batteries are cleaned up a little bit for the most part. Got water in the batteries. Um, and I mean it just looks 10 times better so I brought it back to life essentially so that's that's pretty much it and uh, that's that's what I do and now I restore them so alright so I know it's dark and it may be a little hard to see me right now but I'm gonna go ahead and close the video off here um, I don't know really w what I filmed for the end of the video as far as showing you the results of the golf cart but i think you guys pretty much saw it um i just as soon as i listed it, i was getting blown up with messages of people wanting to come see it i mean for an 850 dollar golf cart which is what i listed it for and i said firm on the price i mean obviously i'm gonna get messages immediately so um i had some guy come um actually I had two people show up at the same time um I didn't know what to do. Honestly, I thought they were going to go into like a, like an auction or something funny, but it, uh, they, the one guy who, who got there, like just seconds before the, the second guy said, um, uh, he's like, he, he said, look, um, you know, he's there with the trailer. He seemed serious. He's, he said, I'm going to go, let me know if you sell it. And I said, all right, fair enough. And, uh, sure enough, this guy bought it for 850 bucks. Like I said, um, so I'm glad that, you know, I mean, that was a 24 hour process. Um, that's how quick it was. Um, it was definitely a little bit, uh, a little bit of running around and doing stuff, but that's, that's how this works. You know, you're not gonna make money just sitting there doing nothing. You got to put in the effort, um, to get the results so i just wanted to fill you guys in this is the end of my video of my golf cart restoration project um like i said i've done 20 plus golf carts i believe and this was just one i figured hey you know um let me film it and show you guys what i do and how the process works so thanks for tuning in thanks for watching the video um and stick around i'm sure I'll, I'll make another another video or more um coming soon um because i'm always looking for golf carts so whenever i find them i'll i'll uh pin you guys in and i'll show you from now on what uh the process is like so stick around there should be more videos thanks for watching